Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to take a look at an upcoming MMO game. However, instead of your typical MMO uh, that we're kind of used to, this one is set around a deadly post-pandemic America. This new open world survival game is called The Day Before. That's being released June 21st of 2022. It's being released for PC and Xbox, X and S and PS5 at a later date, I believe. Uh, the genre is, of course, action adventure survival game. The developer is Fantastic, or Fantastic, which I kind of like that better, and publisher is Mytona. So as I mentioned earlier, guys, the day before is an open world MMO survival game. Uh, we must battle flesh hungry infected as well as other survivors, you know, duking it out for food, weapons, cars, and just general supplies. So to gather resources, we must search through abandoned vehicles, houses, malls, skyscrapers, and pretty much everything in between. Now aside from surviving the infected and the hostile survivors, we can also take part in the restoration of the former society by finding a survivor colony. Now the survivor colony is a safe location to sell your loot and communicate with others uh, and NPCs without worry from the outside world. So as we can see in the trailer, the open world consists of vast rural areas as well as very detailed urban environments. Now graphically the game looks incredible to me. Uh, this little short clip here will show you guys some gameplay with ray tracing and NVIDIA's DLSS turned on, uh, which makes the game look just really, really outstanding. Developers are releasing the game for PC, uh, Xbox Series X and S, and PS5 only because of the promises they make about the gameplay and the details throughout the game. One article stated that players would be able to travel across the map without encountering loading screens. So it sounds like they have plenty of ambitious plans for the game. Now one thing I do want to mention is the developers have said the game will be released for PC on June 21st. However, many other articles and things that I've read uh, have mentioned the console versions coming at a later date. So just something to keep an eye on as we get closer to the release. The day before we'll also have an intricate looting and inventory system. It appears that we will basically be able to loot anything. You know, the trailer shows us we can loot uh, hostile survivors that we best in combat for clothes and really other resources they have on them. Uh, we can also loot items ranging from food to jewelry to weapon accessories and just so much more. Now speaking of weapons, we can see here that we can outfit our weapons with suppressors, scopes, and other items while also making the needed repairs to keep them firing smoothly. And now speaking of repairs, any vehicle we find must also be repaired, if needed, in order to use it. So from the looks of the vast landscape that we're set to explore, it seems a vehicle is going to be a must. The dev team want to deliver on the MMO survival game premise uh, by giving us certain factors that we must monitor. So for example, in an interview with VG Times, the dev team tells us players must monitor three different gauges, uh, which are energy, temperature, and dehydration. Now, there will be factors in the game that affect these gauges, including certain actions we perform, such as the food and drinks we consume, while also being wary of the weather conditions. Now, one example they give us is telling us that if we find ourselves exhausted, it uh, seems we will take recurring damage until we eat. Now, also, the type of food we choose will possibly influence how much energy gets restored or possibly how quick it gets restored. Now, they also mention the weather, uh, which can increase or decrease our chances of survival, of course. If we get caught out in a blizzard, our chances for survival will drastically go down. Now, the developers also tell us that uh, wind will muffle sounds, so making it easier to move through the area without alerting enemies. Now, I know we briefly mentioned vehicles, uh, but it appears that there will be significant advantages and disadvantages to using them. So, for example, we must keep an eye on our fuel gauge, of course, and any damage to the vehicle, as we will need to get out of the car to fuel it up and make necessary repairs, which, of course, will put us at greater risk for being attacked. Now, many vehicles that we will have access to in the game will be armored, which can make us feel safer behind the wheel while making it quite tough to deal with someone if you're on the outside looking in. Now, one last thing to mention about the game is the PvP and PvE side of the game. The dev team have told us that if PvP isn't your thing, there will be an offline mode. In that offline mode, you can choose to complete quests, explore the environments, and face the infected completely solo. Now for the multiplayer side, the true MMO side, we can run into other players anywhere and must decide to team up or duke it out. Now the dev team does mention that cooperation with others may be important. So for example, the team is exploring a reputation system which will be tied to the safety colony and could directly affect how the NPCs there react to you. 
So even though the game is only about three months away from launch, it looks like a few things are still being modified within the game. But overall, with the information we have been given, I think this could be a really great survival MMO game. You know, the graphics to me honestly look too good to be true. Uh, the gameplay looks smooth and interesting. The loot system is really expansive. And the vehicle play should bring a lot of fun to players as well. So definitely be looking for more information on this one as we move closer to June. Now, enjoy the trailer. <laughs> 